friend. Thank you for your mascara purchase. I wanted to do shoot a quick video to give you a couple of tips about applying the mascara. And I'm gonna be short and sweet. So, two tubes, a long one and a short one. The long one is your gel. When you pull it out, um, you will see right here on the end that it, um, it, you know, it's kind of chunky right there. Just wipe off that extra into the tube. Apply this like you do your regular mascara. Make sure that you coat each lash, but take your time. You don't want them to clump together. If they do, just use a lash comb and separate them. But you wanna make sure that it's a nice, even coat from base to tip. Okay, now, once that's still wet, take your fibers. I swirl and I kinda of pump it and then I roll it on the back of my hand to kinda of pack the fibers. And then mid lash to tip, the fibers are going to adhere to that wet gel and it is going to thicken and lengthen and I even come from the back just a little bit see that pretty amazing let that dry you want to let that dry. You want to give the fibers time to adhere to the gel. So I usually go and I do this eye, gel, fibers. Then I come back and I seal this eye with the gel. Now I don't do the fibers on the bottom. I just do just a regular coat of the gel. And um, when you apply the fibers, if a few of them fall underneath, just, you know, you can just brush them off, take a powder brush, brush them off, but you want to make sure they're nice and dry. You can take a blow dryer, blow them up. It curls them. It blows off the extra fibers, makes it really great. Swirl, wipe off the excess of the gel again, and you're going to go back in and seal with a really light coat of the gel. This is going to help smooth out the fibers and it keeps them from falling off throughout the day. So remember, gel, fibers, gel. And that's it. That's one coat. You can do more if you would like, but usually one coat is sufficient. Okay, that's it. Thank you.